the traditional Maori challenge. All visitors are greeted this way. Quite a welcome, my good chief. Now what do I do now? You pick the fern up and clasp it to your chest. If you are a friend. Well, I, I'm definitely a friend. Now, what happens to foes? In the old days, the Mori warriors took heads for trophies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we are civilized people now, so your head is safe. <laughs> I'm glad. I've grown rather fond of mine. My friends, tonight we have great cause to celebrate. The Mat Tracker Foundation will help us to preserve our culture. Their representative, Julio Lopez, will join us in our feast tonight. Thank you, Chief Kayataya. Mr. Tracker and his son wanted to be here tonight, but uh, must have been delayed. Uh, they're flying in from Rotura. I uh, guess their arms got tired, huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, just a little joke, folks. Oh, that was a joke? Well, uh, yes. A little one. <laughs> joke finished! The warrior's dance will now begin. Funny, I didn't feel sleepy a minute ago. Maybe if I walk around them. That's the way Mango Thermal Valley. It's filled with geysers that the natives tap into for heat and cooking. Do you think we're too late for the ceremony? I doubt it. That storm took us off course, but Julio said that these native celebrations go on for quite some time. I'd rather have quiet some time. I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Celebration. Everybody's asleep. All right. My kind of crowd. Only if you like slumber parties. What's going on here? Julio! Come on, buddy. Wake up. Matt. Scott. What happened, Julio? <sighs> Last night, the celebration, the torches, that smell, it had to be sleeping gas. Somebody filled the torches with sleeping gas. Now what? What's this? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you've got the blues. Nothing is harmed, Chief Kataya. The village has not been touched. Huh? Except for me. Why would they paint me, but not steal anything? Even my pearl necklace. Dad! Julio! Over 
over here, Dad! Threat marks. Look familiar? Switchblade. Looks like Venom was our party crasher. But why would Venom want to paint the town? Or should I say the chief? I don't know yet. But you can bet he wasn't practicing his brush strokes. I'd better get a sample of that paint and check it out. Satellite link to mass computer. Select best agents for mission in North Island, New Zealand. Julio Lopez, pre-selected. Recommended personnel, Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist, Thunderhawk co-pilot. Lifter mask could be essential. Dusty Hayes, all-terrain specialist, vehicle code name Gator. <laughs> Champion race driver, black belt in karate, vehicle code name, Shark. Selection complete. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Did you get the results? Well... So far, the paint's not poisonous. But I'd feel safer if we ran it through the computer. Blue paint identified. Commonly used by cartographers on topographical maps to designate spatial relationships. Why would Mayhem cover the chief with map maker's ink? To give him some relief? Of course, a relief map. Julio, the chief's tattoos are different from those of the other warriors. I don't like this. We don't know what they're after or why. Or what they'll hit next. You know, I have my family with me, Chief. Until we find out what's going on, I'd feel better if they were someplace safe. That is the Watomo Grotto. It is sacred to our people. And my uncle is the priest who guards it. It is in the hills nearby. My niece, Takaha, can lead them there. Oh, come on, Dad. I want to go with you guys. I don't want to follow some dumb. Girl. My name is Tikaha. It is a beautiful journey to Watomo. Perhaps my great uncle will take us through the caves lit only by the light of the glowworms. Sounds. Good old BS to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you'd better be going. That's right. We better. We should be there to pick you up in no time, Scott. No, no rush, Dad. Hello, Kimosabi. Hey, honorable sidekick. It's about time you got here. These trees and hills are going to make landing Firefly a little difficult. Any suggestions? I spotted some flat land near that old volcano crater when I was coming in. You could try that. You should be careful where you set down. There's still geyser activity in the area. We'll do, Matt. I'll go with Julio's Firefly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
all. That tattoo's got more lines than a road map. Good guess, Gloria. We think it is a map, a family map. I remember when I was tattooed as a young man. The design was the same as my father's and his father's. Kind of like inheriting the family jewels. In a manner of speaking, yes, but the chief can't read it. Perhaps we would be wise to begin at the beginning. The Maori who did the original tattoo. Of course, he'd know how to read it. The man you speak of is Aparo, my uncle. He was the artist. And the guardian of the glowworm grotto, as you said. If he's a guardian, what's there to guard? I only know the caves are sacred, a cultural heritage of our people. And that's where we sent Scott and Takaha. We'd better step on it. Scott and the girl are probably there by now. If it's sacred or valuable, you know who will be there. Let's go. Ooh. Old man, if you don't show me the path to the secret cave right now... I have told you, uh, there is no secret cave. I'll make my own then. Viper, on! I love that mask, Mayhem. I'll melt your whole grotto if I have to. Show them the map. According to our information, this map leads to a particular cavern. Read the map for me, old man. Now! Of course, I could just detonate the bomb I set back in your village. No, wait. I'll show you. All right, get going. Lead us to the secret grotto. When did you have time to set a bomb? I didn't, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> not inside and I so wanted to show you the grotto we could take that canoe oh yes my grandfather has shown me how and I know the way to glowworm grotto all right let's go see the glowworms I can't see in this blackout I keep running into things turn out that light you know the worms won't glow with it on. What are we gonna do? Sit here in the pitch till the little crawlers wanna glow? This map shows up to here, and it shows only the marks of the glowworms. How can we go farther? I hate to wait, old man. I can easily melt this place down around your ears. Or blow up the village. It's your choice. <laughs> I feel like a 747 about to take off. Lead on, Papa Roa. Well, we know that Mayhem's in there. And probably the kids, by the look of those footprints by the river. But we can't read the map. We'll have to do without it. The chief said we can see by the light of the worms. Let's go. Which way is it? This is it! I know it! I can almost smell the pearls! shopping cart. <laughs> Get busy, you two. Leave them to us. 
Look at the size of this thing. of the cave. What's the protector of the cave? There is a secret cave of giant pearls guarded by a conch shell. One note from it and the oysters will close. But it is destroyed now. A noise makes the oysters close up? Hmm. T-Bob! It's Scott. Can you hear me? I hope we're not too far away. Loud and clear, son. We're in the grotto, too. You gotta save their giant pearls. Tikaha's grandfather said Venom's in the cave now. But there's a sound you can make to close up the oysters. We'll see what we can do. Just get out of the cave. Just have to try every frequency until I hit it. Spectrum, conch shell frequency scanner on. Mask friends, our Maori culture is saved from intruders. Uncle, you should have seen Scott. He was so brave, and he knew just what to do. <laughs> you may stay on the island if you wish. Cut it out, T-Bob. <laughs> T-Bob, would you go and see if the TV dinners are ready yet? This is the best part. Hmm, they're still frozen. I have to relight the oven. <gasps> T-Bob, are you all right? What happened? Don't you know you should never light a match if you smell gas? Run and tell an adult. 